today we are here at the Berkeley Energy and Sustainable Technologies Laboratory to talk about the Human Powered Gym. So as the user is running on the elliptical, what happens is energy is being generated through the generators in the elliptical machine itself and then power gets dumped actually through these resistors. And then what happens is that we take the power that's being dumped by the resistors as heat and then we uh, use a solar charge controller in order to recharge batteries in our system. And then this system is connected to phone chargers and where we can charge our phones and electronic devices. What we see here is basically in real time a graph of the total energy outputted by the elliptical user at the moment. So to do the data acquisition, we're using an Arduino attached to a Wi-Fi shield so that we can track the energy outputted by our charge controller and via Wi-Fi, we can broadcast it to the internet where we have a server that aggregates real-time data of the power output. This project started about five years ago with one undergraduate student, Maha Haji, and one PhD student, Kimberly Lau, who both worked out in the gym. And as they were working out next to each other, they said, where does all this energy go? And they looked into it and they did a survey of students on campus and their energy and technology literacy and realized that there was a huge problem in terms of understanding energy in general. And so they saw this as an opportunity to educate about energy and, and energy technology. And part of the Human Power Gym project, we retrofitted this bicycle with an electric generator so the user is able to power his or her cell phone and interact with our uh, iPad, which links to our website where the user can find out more information about our project and learn interesting energy facts that will allow the user to gain more energy literacy knowledge. So next time you're in the RSF, look out for the HPG retrofitted machines, charge your phone, and learn more about energy sustainability.